Hey, Christina here. Welcome to my crystal art series. Today, I will be sharing the story behind iridescent protection. Let's go. So my mood board really consists of a lot of delicate, intricate things. And they were really based around nature, light, airy things, things that really bring our energy up. So rainbow quartz was something I looked at because the stone itself, uh, andenite, it's relatively close to rainbow quartz. It's clear and it reflects a lot of colors. So when I was staring at the stone and studying it, I was thinking a lot about the frost magic. I was thinking about woodland vibes and some of the frost magic that this stone could become. A lot of the textures and things that come up in frost is very interesting. And I was looking at the stone again and I thought about iridescence and I thought that was really nice having the rainbow colors, you know, shining and mixing in with each other, very vibrant. And I thought I can do something with this in the art piece. And then I thought about an angel because of its light, airy presence. And that's something that is so important especially if you're trying to remove any heavy feelings that you're carrying. Another thing that I was looking at was the texture of the Andalite stone. And I thought about Victorian chiffon ruffles for its texture, its flow, and its light, delicate material. And then I also looked at lace patterns in Victorian fashion or Lalita fashion, if you uh, would like to call it that too. A lot of different textures and very graceful, I would say not cutesy, but very florally, but happy vibes. So a lot of pastel colors, things that are really light not too saturated and then i thought about fantasy a little bit the light fairy and what it could bring us so the light fairy of course it radiates different colors and she's the light so she could be a, a prism and reflect different colors that way so that was something that came to mind as well and then Lastly, that came up because of its texture, I thought about the white flower clusters and I thought that was really cool too because the texture of the stone has, you know, white flowers and stone textures that kind of combine its design together to find some similar ground. So I thought that was another neat idea as well. So I took this idea and I put a little story to it. So the things that were coming up for me was this piece was more focusing on releasing emotions that were weighing us down or blocking us from thriving. So we need to remove those heavy feelings and feel light and airy as a bubble and create a protective iridescent shield so that the bright vibrance bounces any negative forces away from us and continue to manifest the shield and your energy source. Now taking this into Procreate, I really kept this piece super simple. I didn't want to go crazy with this piece. So the composition, I really focused on more of a swirly pattern and a sense of flow and happy feelings. And normally the swirl with its curves really bring that friendly feeling and any kind of relation to light and airy feelings too because normally when you're in this type of flow you feel like you're spinning you're so happy and everything is 
you know, smooth. And that was something I really wanted to showcase. And also mimicking a bubble, which was some of the references that came up as well, looking at bubbles and its texture and how that also mimics the andelite. So the next thing here, I added a wash of cream yellow, and that was kind of how I wanted to start the canvas, something very bright, very exciting and happy. And then I used the lasso tool and I started to carve out some shapes within the swirl to capture some iridescent reflections of quartz, bubbles, frost texture. Within the bubble, I also created some small clusters to reference some of the white flowers in the cluster. And I used a soft brush to give it more of a wispy light effect, mixing in lavender purples, rose pinks, sky blues, and apple greens. So this speaks to the characteristics of Andalite, a rainbow type of quartz. I used the eraser next to create shapes that mimicked Victorian ruffles that played off the Andalite's texture, which is a small quartz cluster. And it has uh, swirls and other things to make it exciting, right? Because I know that the clusters within Andalite are very sharp and rigid, but I turned around and gave it a little bit of flow and curvy lines. And this kind of tied back to flower clusters and some of the look and feels that these flowers come to be, right? So I wanted to show that it's friendly. There's no sharp edges in this piece. And you'll see that the Victorian ruffles, I made it go in a swirl pattern and it goes around the flower cluster in the uh, right bottom right and that is just showing how we need to protect our happiness protect our energy protect our souls because this is what happens when negative emotions come in they can break through our barrier so we need to protect our barrier and we need to make sure that it's strong nothing can poke through it so that was basically everything in Procreate. And then I decided to print it out. But before I did that, I set it up in Illustrator. So by laying out my canvas, eight and a half by 11, I pretty much took two four by six rectangles and I bumped them together. And I put a guide through the middle to showcase my center. And in each corner, I put two L-shaped ticks to find where my crop marks were going to be. And that was where I was going to cut it down to size. And then after that, I was putting my art on the right side because that's the front of the card. So I set that up and on the back of the card, which is the left side, I put my details there on the back. Once I had everything ready in this file, I saved it out as a PDF and then we went for print. So now I have everything printed out on cardstock paper and it was time for scoring it. So I laid it out on my drafting table. I got my scoring utensil. I indented a little line at the top of the page, art side up, so I can find where my center point is. I flipped over the artwork facing it down and then I ran the scoring tool down the page to mark an indent of where that fold line was going to be. And I set that aside. Now it was time to cut it down to size. So I got my knife, ruler, and my mat and we cut it down to size down to its shape uh, which was 4x6 folded in half. So that was pretty straightforward. And now we wanted to, I wanted to touch it up a little bit. You know, it has lots of colors in this, but my final touch is really, I used silver metallic paint and I just dabbled it on with my fingers onto the card 
just so that there's a shimmer to it. And again, this is about being iridescent, right? So we're shining really bright and there's a lot of vibrant energy in this piece. And I thought that having that metallic shine really kind of put the icing on the cake. So that was basically everything in this piece. And I really hope that you loved the process and the story. Comment below on what you liked about this piece. And I hope that you stick around for more of my videos. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep smiling. Bye.